Hi YouTubers. I bought the cheapest car rotisserie on the internet from Jags. Let's take a look at it. So I bought this rotisserie on March 5th, 2021 for $807.99. Shipping was $242.10 for a grand total of $1,050.09. Not too bad. I went on jags.com today, which is December of 21, 2021. And this thing is now $1,074.99 without freight. It's gone up quite a bit. Freight probably going to cost $300 get it to you. So when the shipment arrived, because the parts are all very heavy, the packaging was damaged. I checked the parts list and one of these supports was missing, one out of four. I called the 800 customer service number at jigs.com, 800-345-4545. Those people there are awesome. The shipment damage was not their problem, but within two days I had a new support. Actually, they sent me four. Jigs customer service, great. So this is the main support that holds the braces that bolts onto the car. What I found was some of the holes aren't true. The bolts won't line up with the other components. So plan on reaming these a little bit with a half inch drill bit. You might get a good one, that's fine. That's why I mark these. Now these components here, wasn't that clear on the website? These are 39 inches long. Depending on the car you're doing, that might be good, might not be. Now I am restoring a 67 El Camino, which is a Chevelle type car. It's a Chevelle body, only with the bed in the back. Now I need one that's 45 inches, 44 to 45 inches. So if you're doing a Chevelle, an El Camino, these are not going to be long enough. So I had to make some. I'll show those to you. These are the instructions for putting this rotisserie together. This is it. One page. With very small pictures. What I found was it's hard to see which way the components are supposed to face. What both goes where, you can determine that, but the instructions are lacking. So as I mentioned, this is the support that came with it. It's just too short. So I had to buy some square tube. I use this as the template. Had to drill five holes, one, two, three, four, five, six actually to get the lead screw in there. But as mentioned, for this body, an A body Chevy, I made it 45 and a half inches. So, as I mentioned, Depending on how you put some of these on, you could have the pin on the left, right or the left side. Depending on where you want these handles to be. One thing that we have found in using this is, I think the more expensive rotisseries have a bigger plate here and can index in smaller increments. As you can see, the car is not straight up and down. It's not at 12 o'clock, so to speak, and there's a hole here and on the other side, and the next hole has it past 12 o'clock. Not a big deal. It works, but it probably could be better. So the other thing is I made, or I bought these cotter keys, drilled these holes so these don't fall out. When you do the jack, so the rams are pretty good. It 
they say three ton on them so that's nice as you can see this thing's pretty dirty what I found was I want to have this car or I did have this car sandblasted and primed to get all the rust off of it to do that you need it on a rotisserie you don't have to have it but if you do have it it's cheaper to have it done less labor for the person that's sandblasting see over here the rail runs the length of the car and this is a long car because it's an El Camino it's got a long bed it's got three wheels on each end the wheels have on off locks to keep the casters from rolling so the car can't roll around when you're working on it I'll index it now just to show you how that works I will say that indexing uh, at least this one is much easier when there's two of us one on each end to pull the pin and do the handle Got little stops here. So to raise it, comes with the shorter handle, goes in here, and you pump the ram. Now this handle comes with the little notch here. To release the pressure on the ram just like a floor jack the other tip is once you figure out what height you need it to rotate the car to the side I've marked mine here to go with this car based on the size the size of the supports you're gonna put on it or if the stock supports work maybe you're doing a Camaro a little narrower car that'd be fine so as you jack this up, you pull this pin, it comes out here. First you loosen these bolts, pull the pin, jack it up, and then put those back. These are safety bolts. They work fine. All in all, for $1,000 that we have into it, and it's probably worth more than I paid, this thing is paid for itself. It makes it so much easier to work on this car. Saves a little time. Thanks for watching.